Yeah. All right, D-Lead. Uh, yeah, Coach, um, with, uh, like the turnovers, uh, Yeah, that's usually the story of the game, D-Lead. Uh, obviously, that was disappointing to turn the ball over three times. All of them were at the start of a drive. Uh, put the defense out there. A lot of bad spots. Well, you know, we battled. But uh, usually when the turnover margin is like that, and uh, you, you know, can't hand them, hand them things, that's usually the way it goes. But we fought, tried to get everything we could to get back in this football game. Our team doesn't quit, but uh, obviously we came up short. Uh, run defense today. Um... Yeah, I mean, they grinded it out. Like I said, when you hand them the ball right back, uh, it's usually an advantage to the offense. Um, you got to give New Orleans credit. They, they executed their game plan. And what did you, uh, you know, the season's over now. What was your initial uh, statement to the team or just kind of overall? You know, D-Led, there's a the – yeah, there will be a time and place for that, you know, starting tomorrow. Um, I messed with these guys. I was appreciative of everything they've done. Obviously, we came up short of our own goals here. Um, but this team, you know, we learned how to win close games. We went 7-2 and two in one possession games. Um, we scrapped and clawed. Definitely feel like we got a good foundation and the better days are ahead. Thank you, you D-Led. Yeah, Arthur, there was a report earlier today that there was a report earlier today that you got to Terry and Arthur and told them that you Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not going to internet. You can find whatever you want on the internet. I mean, Chris Morton's a pretty great. Report I'm not discrediting right. any sort of the border, but I can tell you this, that for 100% fact, there was a lot of nonsense that came out in the spring. Uh, you know, you know how you want to in insinuate things, no different than the Calvin Ridley question from last week. Same there. They're not a football decision that's made with the Atlanta Falcons without Terry Fontenot and myself collaborating. That's just absolute nonsense, Michael. Absolute 100% nonsense. It'll never happen. We, we don't, we don't, we don't, we're not a, um, you know, we're not professional politicians. We don't, we don't operate that way. I know a lot of the league likes to, leaks, rumors. That's not how Terry and I operate. So I, I know there's a lot of respected people. They got a job to do, but that's just not what happens. So. Again, that's uh, life's a lot better when you're 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 not on social media. Well, I wish that that could be. The I know you got a job. I understand. <laughs> Just don't look at your mentions, Michael. Yeah, I unfortunately have to. But let me let me ask this a little more directly. Do you expect Matt Ryan to be your quarterback next year? Look, my Michael, I I to sit here. Matt knows how we feel about him. But you're not going to get like a hot take from me today to ever back ourselves into a corner. I don't care. About it. Everything is evaluated every year, and that's the way it goes in the NFL. To make a grand statement right after a game, we're all on the same page. But, you know, I, do I have to declare that Kyle Pitts will be our tight end for us next year? You want me to declare that? I mean, like, where do you want me to go? We can go down the whole roster? I'm not – never going to back ourselves into a corner. I know you got to ask a question. I appreciate it. But we'll take an, a fair evaluation of everybody, top to bottom, every single year. How do you feel about the way Matt's played this year? Well, I'll say this about Matt, and this is what I appreciate about Matt. From, from the outside looking in, he's always had a lot, of, a lot invested in the perimeter. There's been a lot of good skilled players on the outside, the first part of his career, everything. This is what he proved, is he can win, and we did it with a lot of different guys contributing. And so that says a lot about him. A lot of quarterbacks look pretty good when they got, you know, first-round picks, Hall of Fame guys outside from Gonzalez, Roddy Wright, uh, you know, when they drafted Julio, he was, you know, really the, the third or fourth guy. As he got into it, he became obviously a premier player. He had Ridd. He had Austin Hooper. You know, uh, obviously Kyle came in here and, and was forced into a role by circumstance. And we did it with a lot of guys that, that fought every single damn week. And we found different ways, put Cordell Patterson out there, tried to do everything we could to win football games. And Matt proved that he didn't have to do it with nothing but first-rounders out there. And I think that says a lot about a quarterback. Mike got a bigger share than Cordero today. We only had 19 plays in the first half. Everybody's going through something, Josh. So there's a lot of packages and this and that. Uh, we had guys that it's week 18. So, again, there was only 19 plays. CP is obviously, obviously a big part of the game plan. We need more offensive plays. It's been the story of the last five games. Like I said, we found ways to win some games, but we need a better, better job of being a little more balanced, which we will. Talking about – Lack of offensive plays, and going back to what your what D led was asking about with the turnovers on the first play of drive. I mean, how costly was that to the overall flow of the game? Well, I mean, it's hard to get into a rhythm, but you know, we took a shot um, down their sideline. 
that got picked, and then we had two fumbles, you know, to start to start drives as well. And gave them gave them the ball in plus territory. Those those definitely put your defense in a bind. That was the difference in the game. This may be more of a question for when we talk to you on Tuesday, but in what ways have the last couple of games down the stretch shown you and Terry what areas you need to focus mostly on in the off season? Well, I think you take the whole body of work, but certainly. Um, that's why, I mean, it's, it's such a long season, and you do find out a lot about players as you go through it and um, which guys you can depend on as, as the season finishes. Hey, Coach. Hey. What impact, if any, did the extra week this year have on the team? I mean, everybody dealt with it, but, you know, normally you feel this time of year, if you're, if you're practicing, you're getting ready for, you know, a wild card game. Everybody's dealing with the same thing, but certainly you go back and look at it. There's something you could do differently. I think every everybody should say, "Hey, how can we how can we improve?" Um, certainly with the roster, it definitely adds up. Anything else? Did New Orleans do anything specifically with Kyle today, or was that just a punch? He was fighting through stuff. You know, he gave it everything. I don't think a lot of guys would have played in his circumstance. So uh, we certainly tried, and I'm sure you'll get the hot takes about the target. He, he was a primary in a lot of a lot of play calls. I don't know if they know they took him away. Um, so, but I, I would, I can sit here and look at it and say he wasn't 100%, but I appreciate him going out there and trying to help us. Thank you.